Hi, welcome to our first lesson in WordPress full course. First of all, before we go to get into our full course, let's want to understand the basic things that we will be interacting with in our WordPress course. First of all, what is WordPress? WordPress is an open content management system. When I say open source, it means something that you can you have access to change anything. You have the source like where it's developed and you can be able to change things like also the person who developed it. Then content management is anything that you see online, for example, videos, news, photos, and all those are what we call content. So this is a system that manages that content. So we also come into this, this confusion a bit between wordpress.com versus wordpress.org. So in simple terms, wordpress.com is a hosted solution. It's also WordPress, but it's hosted by another company so meaning if you're to use it you will have limitations unless you pay some money for you to be able to make changes like how you do with the other part of wordpress then the other wordpress.org this one is self-hosted this is now the one we're going to dive deep into in this course so this one is an open source you download it put it in your computer or put it in your web server and you'll be able to host it you have full control you can access plugins everything and you can be able to make money or monetize it directly for free without paying any penny on it now my re recommendation for this is is let's use wordpress.org so that we're able to learn everything this brings us to something new and that is now domain and hosting. These are two different things. The first one is, what is a domain? I try to broken it down, it's like something, a domain is something that, or anything that exists. For example, a business or a town, anything that actually exists. But when you come into this word, say, what is a domain name? So in simple terms, is addressed to your website. Uh, for example, if it is a business, the road leading to that business is called a domain name. But a domain name is derived from IP address. You no know, IP address, those things that you see 192.62.168, something like something of the kind. But it they made it in a way that a human can understand so that we can be able to pick. So they gave it a domain name like youtube.com. You could actually access YouTube using IP address. Now, what is a URL? So sometimes we may mix a domain name and a URL. A URL is a specific page in your website for example if you go to youtube then you go to youtube anything that is what comes in as a url now we also have hosting what is a hosting so when you talk of a hosting it's a server that stores your web website files or makes them accessible online well you could be able to host your website directly on your computer but then it may not be accessed by people outside your location so this makes it easier for everyone because you can just put in the url uh the domain name uh, for example youtube.com and that's why you're able to watch this video because it's hosted somewhere and that is why it's available to you otherwise if it wasn't on uh, hosted in any server you couldn't be able to access me right now speaking from this so this actually makes it very clear and we're able to understand those three terms but now we also want to know how can we choose a domain name because it's not just about waking up and you choose so there are a few factors that you need to consider before choosing a domain name first of all the first one is you need to keep it short memorable and easy to spell because this one helps in seo if i talk about seo one day i would make a video about seo seo is just like search engine optimization so when somebody types something is able to locate your business so there are those things like use keywords related to your niche if possible for example you cannot talk about food then you say bentec in actual sense i post about food the website is bentec i go and talk about uh, food so vice versa this is very crucial use a keyword that's related to your niche then avoid hyphens and numbers we don't need a lot of punctuations in urls or in your domain so you just need to put like something like text words that are readable for you to be able to understand so in the meantime i'm going to show you how we can be able to get the names uh, using a few a few resources that we have free online so for this tutorial i'm going to use a website called nemlix so let me just put in here nemlix there are very many out there you can also just trust your head you can be able to generate the name of the business uh, in whatever way you want so whatever but this case i'm using nemlix so what you have to do is put in the keywords of what you're going to be doing 
in your website for example i have a few keywords here i have software developers web developers tech has it support and graphics so i can just put something like that whatever you're going to type in here it's perfectly fine so now in this case you're just going to click generate now you're able to tell this um this website that how do you want your the styling of your name so for example you can say all of them then if you're confused you're not sure what to take you can first say all of them but if you're not if you're very sure what you want for example they even giving examples here for brandable you get things like google rolex short you get dollar wave just like that you see real words you get apple amazon then you get like compound words so whatever you're going to choose please make a selection from this now for my case i think i need something like a real word i think this is okay real world real word is okay but okay let me take brandable then i go next now you see the select the generation generation randomness there is low balanced and low medium and what high so this means like for less let's random the most direct name idea so this is more direct but this one is trying to be more creative and this is more varied actually it's going to be creative and something a little bit unique so for my case let me first take it medium then brand information so this you have a chance again to make a few changes if you feel you you messed up a bit earlier you can make changes here this one is optional you can decide to leave it or put it but i can leave it for now i take only this then i say great now you can see so based on what i gave it so it has brought for me these names all here for example this code room it's also good sounds cool then you see degrees eh? degrees is okay uh code well maybe i let me see degrees but also before you take this you because we are selecting the name at the end of the day we also need a domain name so what you got to do first is make sure that confirm if the domain is available you click on that domains and they will take you directly to name chip and sorry you find this is already taken so it brings us to this and you'll be able to see quite very many names here that you're able to to choose for example there's code room there is guru way but there is unfortunate bit of it you find most of these names have already been taken for example if you look at this the domain name is not available but if you come down here there's actually this one dot com is available although others also you can be able to check like dot io that but what you need to consider before you take a, a name make sure that the domain name is available for the example this tell mati tell mati's name is available and if you look scroll down that's one advantage of this uh, uh website called nameleaks you can be able to get the domain name also shown to you that it's available if you see the stick on top the dot com is available if you find that it's not okay for you you can be able to go back and make different prompts or description of your business so that is how you briefly how you can be able to select the domain name for your business finally we also need to choose a hosting and domain provider so where to register and host your website so hosting the website is actually something that you need to be critical before you start first of all there are many reasons different ways you can host your website first of all if you are interested in just for learning because today you're learning you don't need that advanced things it's very easy so i'm giving you about three websites that give that are relatively very cheap and don't cost much and the first one is host fair if you come to host fair you can be able to see that you are able to start with eight dollars this is for a whole year so if you divide it by months it's roughly 0 0.8 or something of the kind so it's very cheap and you'll be able to get a single put a single domain unlimited storage and all these things we also have we also have ionos.com but uh, if you come straight you will not be able to see this what to call one dollar hosting that is if i check this you see this url i'm going to leave the url in the description there is one dollar hosting as you can see this there's actually one dollar and you'll be able to see you'll be able to host your website uh, online at only one dollar per month that is roughly 12 to 13 dollars uh you'll be able to come to be present and the last one is this my true host that is also available here so my true host also gives you 
you pay one dollar per month that is roughly also roughly also 12 or 13 dollars for a year this these are very good for you to start with your hosting before you are able to get into more professional but if you're interested in more professional hosting i would recommend bluehost hostinger and also name cheap they have been in the market for quite long and you can be assured that there are no possibilities of going down or any time of business being sold because some of these things disorganize your website presence so all these links about these hosts companies i'm going to leave them in the description in case you want to check them out please check it in the description you'll be able to get them at a discounted price so thank you very much for this part of our uh, introduction about wordpress and hosting and domain name so we're going to the next part of wordpress installation in this case we're going to look at wordpress one click install through cpanel we're going to go to do local installation using uh zamp then we can we shall be able to go through a bit of dashboard post pages media and other few things the settings on wordpress so see you in the next lesson of wordpress